In our last study, we saw where Jesus said, do not think that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I didn't come to destroy, but to fulfill. In Christ, we have his righteousness. We are saved by his grace. The question now is, does that mean that it's no longer important for us to live a life of obedience? Well, Jesus answers this question in verses 19 and 20. He says, Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And then in verse 20, he takes it a step higher. He says, For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. This is a challenging passage for us. And it was a challenging passage for the disciples. When the disciples heard Jesus say this, they had to be shaking their heads and said, how, is any, how are any of us going to make it to the kingdom of heaven? Because for them, the Pharisees were the epitome of righteousness. But for us, it's challenging as well for a different reason. And that is, it sounds like he's saying that we are saved based upon our works instead of by his grace. So we're going to spend a couple of studies unpacking this. But what I want us to do today is to look at the problem with the righteousness that the Pharisees had and the scribes had. What was the problem with their righteousness? Well, let me give you a couple of verses that illustrate the problem they had with their, I would say, their self-righteousness. Luke chapter 16, verse 15, Jesus is speaking to the Pharisees and he says, you are those who justify yourselves. That is, you are those who make yourselves look righteous before others. But God knows your heart. For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. So the first problem with the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees was it primarily was designed to make themselves look good. They weren't really all that concerned about actually being good. God isn't looking for our outward compliance. He's looking for what's going on in our heart. He wants us to obey with the right spirit, not just the letter of the law. The second problem is found in Matthew chapter 23 and verse 23. Jesus is again addressing the Pharisees and he says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and you neglect the weightier matters of the law. So they would pay tithe on every little penny that they had. They'd make sure that they had the exact right amount. Now, they wouldn't pay any more, but they paid just what they had to on the littlest amounts. But they neglected the weightier matters of the law. And what are those weightier matters of the law? Jesus says the weightier matters are justice, mercy, and faith. These you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. God just doesn't want outward compliance. He wants our heart. He wants obedience from the heart. And that's something that God will give to us when we recognize that we have been saved by grace. When we've been saved by grace, we're not going to be lording it over others and wanting to look good. Like Jesus said in the Beatitudes, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the meek, the humble, those who hunger and thirst for something better, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. This is the kind of righteousness that God is looking at. We'll explore this more in our next study. Make yourselves a great day.